Remember when we shared the same breath and were one? When we shared a language that survived hungry ghosts or when we swam together in wild waters that could not drown us? Since our fall from grace, we have lost kinship with innocence. We have experienced so many variations of original sin that its taste has become far, far from original. These paradises we have burned and abandoned have collapsed into a garden of Eden now bleeding. A complex geometry where parallel lines of love and consideration contend with irrational proportions of emotional, physical, neglecting constriction. Non-complementary angles of sexism versus fairness, those seeking domination battle it out with those seeking collaboration in the multi-dimensional arena of our human condition. When seeking union between the sexes, one must learn to transform opposition into empowerment, cruelty into congruency, create ratios of respect, equilateral equality, a more perfect circle of the sexes. One that unifies, strives to heal this wound of being human, for we are quick to anger, slow to heal. Dragging our inner rivers for the body of evidence that can free us from the gridlocked and mind-locked madness of our Garden of Eden now bleeding, the place where one confuses the highly personal with the universal. Retunes enlightenment to a TV reality where we can't stop looking at our cell phones, even when in the presence of redemption in our garden of Eden now bleeding. Hear the gunfire and continual cry of sirens. Witness our struggles to grow beyond our insanities and instabilities. New bones sprouting from old burdened psyches, surviving alley fights with a world gone rogue. Carving intellect sharp enough and weapon enough to save ourselves from the dangerous primal instincts breeding in our Garden of Eden, not bleeding, that we may one day untether ourselves from this mothership of mayhem, float off into harmonic stardust, witness ourselves in the cracked mirror moon, realizing that despite it all, we have the potential to become beautiful and unbroken. And beyond our garden of Eden now bleeding, our flowers of good fortune can flourish even as our world devolves into deserts of destruction. That we can sleep with fire and wake up the right kind of bright. That we can return to innocence and from innocence to shadow. That we can return to shadow and from shadow to the river. And we can return from the river to the crossroads, from the crossroads to song, from song to heart, from heart to a home where a new union between man and man and woman and woman and man and woman can blossom. Souls guided by plant instinct, tenacious in the desire to rise, root voice, a journey from oblivion into brilliance, our seed smiles, a multiplying joy. In our new Garden of Eden, no longer bleeding, remember to let the flowers grow, but pull away the weeds before they tower over us on this spinning ball.